We are here at Savage Gulf because we are going to learn about the hemlock woolly adelgid and how we are treating the eastern hemlocks to fight hemlock woolly adelgid. The hemlock woolly adelgid is a small aphid-like insect that has infested eastern hemlocks and Carolina hemlocks. Uh, and it attaches itself to the bottom of the headlock branch and they're small white woolly masses that kind of look like tiny, tiny cotton balls at the base of each hemlock needle. And during the winter months, it sucks the nutrients out of the hemlock trees, which then causes its death. So hemlock woolly adelgid is an insect that was uh, inadvertently carried in from Asia and established in the 1950s and has the capacity to basically eliminate eastern hemlocks from the landscape. The trees have no natural resistance to speak of and we don't have a natural complex of uh, checks and balances for the insect. So our stopgap measure at the moment is to use chemicals until we can develop some more natural checks and balances. This is a kind of a multi-agency event. We've got USDA, Forest Service, we've got TDEC, TWRA, and of course we've got Division of Forestry and the strike team. And so they, they taught us how to, uh, the chemical treatment of, of hemlocks. And so they showed us how to measure the tree, prepare the base of it, calculate the amount of chemical, and then put that around there. And probably one of the things you know, that was probably the neatest is to look at the partnership and the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency has been involved in it for several years. And I'm just really a great collaborative effort between all the different agencies that are working on the project together. And that's, you know, that's one thing that I've learned throughout my career. When you, when you collaborate with one another on a common goal or common objective, you can uh, achieve so much more. So it's a very, very important program and we're hopeful that we can save the hemlock. The crew has treated over 7,000 acres and 82,000 trees. In providing those outcomes, in providing the success rates that we've had, a lot of other state programs and internationally, uh, Nova Scotia and Canada has reached out to us to help them set up their programs. Tennessee is, is one of the leaders with their program and the way they pull this work off and, and get these trees treated uh, for the, the greater good.